Hello guys, welcome back to another Citrix Lab Setup series and in this video we are going to talk about how we can publish various types of applications using Studio. I mean, obviously Studio only. Uh, the reason why I have mentioned here is, in this part we are going to talk about the publishing applications in Studio and in the next part we are going to talk about how we can do the same in PowerShell. So let's get started. Here we go. I have already launched my Studio. And when it comes to publishing applications, uh, there are actually more than one way to publish the application from Studio. So one is obviously from uh, applications and on the right hand side panel you will see this add application option. So you can click on add applications here and then you can start publishing. And another option is you can go to delivery groups. and you can right click on delivery group and you will see the second option add applications so either way you can choose to publish the applications you want so as the usual way let's go to applications and let me click on add applications now As usual, getting started with application, introduction, blah blah blah. We don't need to see this again and you don't need to read it either. So let's go to the next page. And here, uh, since it's a lab environment, uh, you are given option only uh, one delivery group. But you know, in production environment, you will have a bunch of delivery groups as well as you will also have applications groups as well. But talking about applications groups, that we're not going to do now. So for now, we'll just select our delivery group and this is where our applications will be published and click on next. And here is the interesting part. So I click on add here and you will see uh, multiple options here. One is from start menu, manually existing, app v which is grayed out, we don't have it and applications group. And in this video, uh, we will be publishing applications, one from start menu and uh, the second one manually. So the second option, this is the mostly used options uh, in, you know, many of the production environment. I mean, we will be obviously, uh, you know, publishing the applications manually uh, unless it's just uh, the normal notepad or uh, other default applications in Windows so first thing we'll go with from start menu and I want you to notice something as soon as I click on uh, start menu all the applications will be pulled from the VDA server so let me click on from start menu and here you can see ran slash VDA so that's our VDA server. And these are all the list of applications that is pulled out from that particular VDA server. And let's see which one we can uh, publish here. Um, let's take paint for instance. And even you can, uh, you know, uh, select multiple options, but let's go with only one. Click OK. <clears throat> and you will see remove and properties are grayed out. And now it's not. And as soon as you selected the application you want, you go to properties right away. And from here, the identification. So you can uh, either leave it as it is or you can say uh, ctx hyphen paint it's just you know every environment follows their naming convention so you can uh, keep them and the description and keywords description is the usual thing and when it comes to keywords uh, it's pretty advanced one and we are not going to talk about in this video we'll talk about it later so that's all about identification let's go to delivery and from here, you can change the icon. So uh, as soon as I click on 
change you will be given two options one is choose an icon from a file on a representative machine which is on that VDA server and otherwise you can choose from the Citrix default icons and these are all the default ones and I'm just gonna stick with the usual paint so let it be and the next thing application category so this is where you provide the name of the folder you know as soon as you log into uh, your Citrix login page uh, for example I give tools and this is gonna be my folder name so as soon as I log into Citrix and I will see a folder called the tools and inside that tools folder I will see this paint application and in case uh, you have like hundreds of applications and you have to categorize them in multiple subfolders and all you have to do is inside the tools um, you can say you know another folder and that's gonna be sub tools so this is how you can create folders to organize the applications you know the way how uh, users will be seeing them when they log into Citrix and that's about it and the next one add shortcuts to users desktop if you want and another one how do you want to control the use of this applications so either you can choose allow unlimited use or you can limit the number of instances running at the same time so if I select 10 only uh, 10 applications we can I mean only 10 times this can be launched and even I can use limit to one instance per user then if I select this option I will be able to launch this application only once I cannot launch this twice or thrice or more than that so these are all the uh, some useful um, you know options you know sometimes for uh, maybe you know there are some licensed applications you know you company procure those license and it is limited so you cannot uh, you know let the people to use more than that or you know always there will be some cases like that so and let's move on to location so here you will give uh, the executable file uh, I mean the path as well as the executable file and command line argument if any and since we took this from uh, from the start menu and not uh, use uh, other options here but I will be using them in the next uh, type where we'll be publishing the application manually so I'm just gonna leave it as it is and limit visibility so here you will get two options so show this applications to the entire delivery group so that means if I have access to that delivery group then I should be also able to see this application but in case no I don't want to you know let all the people who have access to the delivery group to see this application then I can limit them so I'll just add and I'll just give mine click OK and zone I'm not going to use any zones here it's, it's obviously um, a lab environment so click OK and let's go to um yeah another one place the new uh, applications in folder applications I mean we have only one applications folder and if I had created another one I can even choose them to so just just so you know I'll just click on change and here I can create a new folder and then I can move that paint application to that particular folder I'm not gonna do that let it be and click next and usual thing uh, summary so this is the delivery group and this is the application that we are going to add and in this folder in studio and click finish boom there we go and one good thing about uh, you know uh, in, in, in studio as soon as I click on this application you will get all this information uh, in this panel so you can go to groups and you will see uh, to which group I meant which delivery group uh, this application was published to and if there is any sessions and administrators so uh, now let's go to our Chrome let me log into 
our Citrix and yeah let's give it a minute there we go favorites nope desktops uh, this one I have already published I will show you how to do this as well and here when you look at you see two sections all and categories and in the all so whatever the applications that I have access to everything will be listed here and if I go to categories and see you got the tools folder and inside that sub tools and inside that we have this CTX paint and I click on launch okay I see a file got downloaded and let me open it boom okay we got the paint launched and if I go to Citrix workspace and connection center and you will see the active session and it got connected to our VDA and so that was success I'm gonna log this off yep close okay so that is one uh, type of application which is from uh, you know start menu and now let's create a one manually so obviously the same option and you select the delivery group and click next and add and this time manually and we are going to publish a WinRAR application so let me get the path so, you know PDA and C$ click OK it was in program files WinRAR I think this also WinRAR ok cool So path to the executable file is what we just gave and let's copy it and the working directory and application name ctx hyphen then rar we can give the same name to here as well and click ok and click on properties so here no changes at all these are all the same options that we saw before so I'm just gonna keep them show applications to the entire delivery group let it be because I'm the only one who has access so and click next and finish okay guys so now we have published two applications one is from start menu and one we manually did it and if you noticed uh, you know either of the cases we have the application path we have the working directory but we don't have uh, you know mentioned anything about command line arguments so this comes in place uh, you know for example uh, let's say we are publishing the chrome application or any other browser 
and you want you know as soon as the browser launches from citrix it's supposed to open up some uh, you know particular url or say you have a web application which needs to be published so in those cases we will be using the command line argument you know in the application path you will give the uh, the path of the chrome or edge or ie never mind don't talk about ie yeah it's it's gone anyway so any browser's executable path and you give the working directory and in the command line argument you give the site name so that site name will be uh, launched or you know the, the web application the url of the web application that you can give and sometimes uh, in some other applications uh, say microsoft dynamics or any other applications any other business applications uh, which might have you know different different users different different databases so uh, you can either give the different uh, database name here so when the application is getting launched uh, it will take that database name so for those additional purpose we are using uh, command line arguments guys uh, one more thing i want you to remember is whenever any user uh, asking for a request to any citrix applications you have to make sure you are giving him access to the application as well as the delivery group you know sometimes you tend to miss that because you are getting the request uh, for winrar application and you go to properties and you give him the access and when you ask him to check the access he will still not be able to see the icon because you forgot to give the access to the delivery group where this particular application belongs to so you have to make sure the user has access to the delivery group as well as the published application you know most of the time in the production environment all the applications access will be managed through security groups but still uh, this is one point i want you guys to remember okay guys uh, that's all for today and if you like this video please click on like and also do subscribe if you are uh, first time coming to my channel and uh, in the next video uh, we will talk about how we can publish the applications using powershell command so until then take care of yourself have a good day guys bye bye